the issue of Mormonism head on. No, there's a big problem. Look, I'm, I'm not a Mormon, but I do play one on TV. Are I'm you a Christian? On Big Love, the HBO series that has been a real headache for Romney. Here's the problem. He dare not discuss his religion. And he, be, he fools people like Pat Buchanan, who should know better. This was the worst speech, the worst political speech of my lifetime. Because this man stood there and said to you, this is the faith of my fathers. And you and none of these commentators who like this speech realize that the faith of his father is a racist faith. As of 1978, it was an officially racist faith. And for political convenience, in 1978, it switched. And it said, okay, black people can be in this church. He believes, if he believes the faith of his fathers, that black people are black because in heaven they turned away from God. In this demented Scientology-like notion of what was going on in heaven before well, the creation of the earth. you saying that Mormonism disqualifies him from being president I'm of the United I'm saying States. he's got to I, answer. When he, he was 30 years answer. old and he firmly believed in the faith of his father right. that black people are inferior, when did he change his mind? Did the religion have to tell him to change his mind? And when he talks about the faith of his father, how about the faith of his great-grandfather who had five look, wives. Well, look, look, look my great-grandfather had slaves, and I don't believe in slavery. And his religion is based on the work of a lying, fraudulent criminal what named Joseph Smith, who was, racist, who was a racist, who was who was pro-slavery. His religion is, was completely pro-slavery. My pro point is, I uh, said his beliefs. He is living by the precepts of his faith. This is a good man. He is a courageous man in his what he has said. His religion believed in right. slavery. Did I know it. But look, listen, the Christianity condones slavery for You don't believe anything years. he believes, well, Pat. You don't believe I, any of it. Every, I don't, I'm every not a Mormon. Religion, let Pat in. Every, let Pat in. Every look. religion has had its scandals, and I don't think we hold everybody who follows a religion responsible for all of the negative things that You do when he says, I on. believe every word of it. Uh, he was offered an opportunity uh, to distance I'm himself not, I'm not from the evils of his religion, not, and he right? didn't. I am, not right comfortable. I am not comfortable with dissing an entire religion. I prefer no. the approach that we are a pluralistic no. country, and this religion should not disqualify him. John, well, wait a minute. Are you president. talking about the Inquisition and the Catholic Church? Are you making reference to that? When you say we all John, have our skeletons in the closet? If you want to bring that up, you can bring out more recent John, scandals, for goodness sake. This is really you know, let this young lady in. Let her in. Let her in. Well, look, I, I agree with Pat when he started to say I think it's an unfair assault on Mitt Romney. He was explaining he, he is holding the tenets of his faith very dear to so his he heart. Was a I don't think it's I don't think it's we up all to accept him that? to have okay. to go and explain. The look, Jesus look, Christ, been uh, there's only one person who's forced him to say anything about his religion. But but where are we? in America where we're praising somebody for not chucking his faith out of the window a in order to be president religion, of the United States. A pro States. slavery religion. Are you calling okay. Mitt Romney racist? I'm, I'm saying he was a racist. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Slave, look, hold it. Mormons Mitch. didn't bring slavery to the United States of Americans. Christians Joseph did. Smith was All a right, slavery please. champion. All right, please the relinquish. The inventor of this ridiculous Lawrence, religion. Lawrence, please relinquish. Mitt's pivot. The notion of the separation of church and state has been taken by some well beyond its original meaning. They seek to remove from the public domain any acknowledgement of God. Religion is seen as merely a private affair with no place in public life. It's as if they're intent on establishing a new religion in America, the religion of secularism. Question. John F. Kennedy declared in 1960 in Houston, quote, I believe in an America where separation of church and state is absolute. As Romney opened up a can of worms on two counts. One, 20 million atheists who are also secularists appear to be unwelcome in Romney's scheme of things. And two, he fails to replicate JFK's strategy. Kennedy called for a church-state separation that is absolute. I ask you, uh, Monica Crowley. No, Mitt Romney didn't come anywhere near that, that question. He wasn't saying that he was going to fuse his faith with the presidency of the United States. He was making exactly the opposite argument. And when you take a look at 
Uh, Mitt Romney's record as governor of Massachusetts, he didn't try to infuse his leadership there Do you with his think religion. He sacrificed and by the way, this question about his Mormonism, it never came up when his father was running for president in 1968, well, and he, he was leading in the polls. It would have this if is, I was you know on the show. You know why? If because I were on the John, show, John, John, contrary to fact the, the reason we're talking about this is because Romney has this extraordinary record of achievement as a leader in the private sector, mm -hmm. running the Olympics, running Massachusetts. No, we're the talking about it because his religion is full of crazy beliefs. Everyone on this panel with, Lawrence, thinks his religion is, is full of crazy beliefs. No, no, but that's Every the one only of us does. Thing, you won't so you admit it. Do you think the Garden of Eden was in Missouri? No, Who among us thinks the Garden of Eden was in Missouri? I think every religion is full of crazy beliefs. This was a political speech, mm. and I would have liked it if he had amended his statement about how religion and liberty and freedom are intertwined to but say it's also the freedom to not worship. But I think that he engaged Let a, me talk a, about a, a topic Let's here. Talk about what is you, 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 made your, you made your point. <laughs> you, made your, you made your point. I, I used to work in Missouri, and I think it's the Garden there. of Eden. I, I think, think it's there. Bad. I believe it's there. Look, he talked about secularism. What he t is against is a militant secularism, which is a religion, oh. which is attempting to de-Christianize <laughs> this country, driving God and driving the religion of the majority out of the public schools oh. and the public squares. And he said, "I will fight on your side." To keep it there. This is such Good a phony argument. It is it's the not, truth, Ellen. Oh, this notion that the Merry Christmas being replaced by Happy Holidays and right. and, and somehow that's right. an insult. Why isn't the nativity question. scene on the White House lawn? On a scale from A to F, assign Romney's speech two grades. The first for political effectiveness, the second for style. Pat Buchanan. I'm going to give him an A, a on both of them, John. I think it was an extraordinarily effective speech. I think the style, it's the best thing he's delivered, and I, d I had not seen him as that good a speaker. The one point you made that's valid is it's not going to convince a lot of the fundamentalists and a lot of these other fellows over here. Uh. <laughs> right. There, 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 there are a sliver of evangelicals who will never vote for a Mormon, and there are people who do think the Mormon religion is a, is a cult, and they're not going to support that. But I think for the broad mainstream of America, this was a very successful speech politically, and for a candidate who has such a robotic about, style, about he actually showed million, a little bit of an emotion. What about the 20 million secularists and atheists? Then they can be mainstream. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to be cracking down them all, on them. He waved them all. He, he had nothing to <laughs> say. That was, not, that was not his audience. No. He was speaking to Republicans. He said, "I would be the friend of anyone of and anyone. Iowa voters." He said, "I would be the friend of anyone who shares my." pious beliefs. In sure. effect, he said that. Well, I think the what? atheists are going to ha have, have other candidates they'll be more comfortable with. John, his are you speech, approving of this shutting out the atheists? His, look, the atheists, 20 million atheists in this country are going to vote for somebody. All of the Democratic and Republican presidential candidates claim to be people how of faith. How much of the atheists vote There's did not a single atheist running he, for president, How much of the atheists John. vote they have did to he lose? Somebody. How much did he lose? I don't, I don't, this was all I, geared to I Iowa, think, and it was geared to South Carolina, was it were, not? I don't think the atheists were going to go for Mitt Romney anyway as a voting bloc. I give him an A minus on on effectiveness and A minus on I style. Think, I think you're dredging up some of this liturgical stuff that's hangover from I'm the I'm dredging Mormon. up what a candidate for the president well, of the United States. Let me quote him. This is what he believes, okay? There's only one person who's gotten to talk about this, a radio talk show Make host it quick. in Iowa. It's Make on it tape. Quick. Romney Michelson. has said publicly in mm -hmm. Iowa that he believes in the second coming of Christ, which is going to happen, that, that, that then the world mm -hmm. will be ruled by a world government you mean in based in Jerusalem he said that and Missouri. Well, yes. Recently? He, he, he the evangelicals he, believe Christ is coming he, back, too. Do, he thinks, do you believe it? He thinks the world is going to be ruled coming? from Missouri. The world. At the end when of is the, that? At the end of the show. Soon for you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Romney comes from a religion founded by a criminal uh, who was anti-American, pro-slavery, and a rapist. Right. And his and he comes from that lineage and right. says, "I respect Look, this oh religion." No, all right, we're going to get the needle. Oh, Issue two: Huckabee's Hubris.